you want a glass of water? Sure. That'll be a dollar, please. Uh, why? You just poured it from the sink. Access to water is a fundamental human right, but that doesn't mean I'm going to give it to you. Just because you need it. <laughs> I hope this doesn't set a precedent. Stay tuned for the Planet Earth's most relevant newscast. Broadcasting from Sector 17G of the Milky Way Galaxy, we present you a program that is a strange combination of newsworthy and non-newsworthy. Funny at times and extremely non-funny at others. Ladies and gentlemen, Earthlings and Lunars, we present to you, Down Out Live. Welcome, welcome to another exciting episode of Veilmount vale Live. You may notice the set this week is a little different from usual. We've been forced to move to Studio A. This is the same studio where the television show Covered Girls was produced. I'm Anne Marie Scott. And I'm Jody Newham. Let's begin the show with something fresh. How about a profile of a young man crossing the country on a crappy 10 speed? Why not? Hi there, uh, my name's Alec Tataran. I'm from Vancouver Island, and uh, 46 days ago I started a bike trip from Montreal, Canada, and I finally made it to Valmont, and I think I have about 10 more days, and I should be back home. So when I came into Montreal, the first thing I needed to do was buy a bike. It's, uh, I paid 180 bucks for it. So some of the challenges I've faced so far on this trip, um, aside from the weather, uh, the rain days always make it hard. Uh, I've run into a few problems with uh, <coughs> the law a few times. Um, I was camping uh, one late night. I ro rode into town around 8 o'clock or so and a local told me to go set up camp in this pretty nice park. It was really nice. Set up my tent. Beautiful area. Found out 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, it was a provincial park. And uh, was arrested for trespassing and uh, I was banned from all parks in Ontario for the next 30 days. It was, it was one of the few souvenirs I didn't want to take with me. Uh, the best memory I've, I've had so far was just going down a giant hill and it's just the sun on, my, on one side and just lighting up the water. It was just beautiful and you know what I just sat up on my bike just going down the hill with my arms spread open and I just you do, just felt amazing. It's just something you don't get to experience when you're, you know, driving 110 kilometers on the Yellowhead. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm always eating pasta, rice, just anything that'll give me a lot of carbs. And when I walk into a grocery store or a gas station, I'm, I'm no longer looking for food that I like. It's food that has a lot of fat, a lot of sugars, and a lot of carbohydrates. I mean, I'm surviving on about less than $10 a day. I, I will definitely do another trip, I'm sure. I've uh, met a few bikers and they've told me of trips they've done. Maybe one day I'll be able to go from Alaska even down to Mexico. That'd be a great trip, I think. And uh, you definitely meet a whole bunch of people that way, I'm sure. Well, so I've been in Valmont all night and uh, I know it's early morning, but I still got a long way to go. I'm planning to get uh, past Blue River today, maybe about 40 clicks past Blue River and find a spot to camp in the bush. I know that's a long ways away and it takes me about 20 kilometers every hour, so uh, better get going. <laughs> part of the clip where he shows us his stomach? Anne-Marie, it's not that kind of channel. Community television has a long history of avant-garde productions. Just take a look at this clip called Covered Girls. Covered Girls? You've never heard of VCTV's cult classic? Watch this.
This is a beaver candle and I'm going to light it. And I just would like to say one more thing before I go, Ronnie. Actually, let me show you. Don't bomb the beavers. A wise woman once told me that things come in threes. Now we have bike helmets, beavers, and beetles. Fantastic. Uh, I'm all for women's rights and everything, but I think the message gets confused when the host wears a paper bag on her head. I like it. I kind of like it too. Stand by for a short commercial break. You work hard, so your body deserves the very best. That's why serious athletes reach for Monponto's genetically fortified G Plus Orange Sports Drink. At Monponto, our patented DNA combining technology allows us to provide you with exclusive genetically enhanced supplements. Our bio prospectors scour the equatorial forest night and day to ensure you get only the very best DNA. Only Monponto's genetically fortified G Plus Orange utilizes the unique DNA from the Amazonian tree frog. Renowned for its strength and stamina, only the Amazonian tree frog has the DNA of choice for G Plus Orange. Using our exclusive dice and splice technology, we guarantee a perfect DNA combination each and every time. Lab grown, lab tested, and lab sterilized to ensure genetic purity means we guarantee you products so fresh, even Mother Nature hasn't touched them. So whether you're looking for that little extra performance edge or you just want a refreshingly superior supplement, look for Monponto's Genetically Fortified G Plus Orange. Genetically Fortified G Plus Orange by Monponto. Taking the toil from the soil to bring you a splice of the good life. Hey, where's our fearless reporter, Zachary Schneider? Hmm. If he reports in sick again, I'll kick him in his appendix. <laughs> I'm afraid that won't be possible. Why? Well, he was sick, you see, and uh, you're not going to be able to kick him in his appendix. Oh, was he really sick? Yeah, he had it removed. Hmm. Let's take a look at his report. Hi, this is Zachary Schneider, your foreign correspondent, and I'm in Singapore. Singapore is an island country and the smallest country in Southeast Asia. A hundred and... 37 kilometers north of the equator. The founder of Singapore called it Singapore, which means the Lion City. He had seen one there, but studies showed that he probably never saw a lion. What he most likely saw was a tiger. Singapore has 63 islands, including mainland Singapore. Its current size is 704 square kilometers and continues to grow because of some of its smaller islands are being merged together to create more larger and functional islands. They do this by moving land from hills, seabeds, and other close-by countries. Singapore has five million people living here, the, mo the second most densely populated country after Monaco. Although the birth, although the birth rate in Singapore isn't enough to replace the population and maintain its growth, the government encourages people to immigrate to Singapore. So that has kept the population from declining. So you can imagine there's a wide range of cultures here. It is always warm here, rarely getting below 23 degrees Celsius. Stay tuned to Velmont Live. I'll return later in the show and tell you a little bit more about Singapore's customs. Oh dear. I can see how it hurts him just to deliver his report. I hope he gets better soon. Why? So you can kick him in his appendixless little body? It's not my fault he's at the bottom of the pecking order. 